there is one very interesting difference that but before that I go for that difference I will tell you five to three what are the important regions in prokaryotic messenger RNA this is five end if you read the five end and move the downstream you will find a start codon you will find a special codon here which will signal that here which process should be started process of translation should start from here this codon is called start codon and it is from here is the inauguration of peptide chain formation occur so inauguration a u g so adenine uracil and guanine which is present towards the five end five prime end the first a u g is said to be what it is called start codon but if from the start codon you move upstream towards the five end few nucleotide for example six to eight or ten nucleotide you move towards the five end here will be a very unique and special sequence of nucleotide right and this unique and special sequence of nucleotide right which is present in the prokaryotic messenger RNA and it is not present in eukaryotic messenger RNA this is very important sequence this is called consensus consensus sequence also because evolutionarily it is preserved in most of the messenger RNA made by the bacteria now this unique very special sequence even though the nucleotide present here or codons present in it are not translated but they have a very unique function you know what is this they are able to bind with a unique area of the 16s ribosome of the 30s subunit actually this area this nucleotide sequence right this act as a sticky point as a sticky point as a hooker which can hook with the 30s subunit or stick with some area of 30s subunit now this area is called shine dalgarno sequence dalgarno sequence so what is shine dalgarno this name is little unusual it is taken from the researchers researchers who first discovered it this sequence and its function there were two one was mr shine other was dalgarno and sequence is just sequence not another third person now shine dalgarno sequence what is it it is a very special nucleotide sequence present few nucleotide upstream from start codon right and this sequence of nucleotide is purine rich purine rich mean it is having adenine and guanine for example depending upon bacteria it may be gga and gga u for example now this is rich in purines so shine the algarno sequence is present upstream first first of all it is present only and only in prokaryotic messenger rnas and of course in mitochondrial messenger rna number one where it is present it is present six to eight nucleotide upstream from starter start codon and they are purine rich right what is their special function actually they act as a hook or they act as a sticking point from where messenger rna 
will bind with 30s subunit that when prokaryotic messenger rna is made it this messenger rna come into cytosol and in the cytosol shindal garno sequence is looking a special point where it will bind what is that point i will highlight it here this special point is this is 16s ribosome ribosomal rna it is 3 prime end here is 5 prime end ribosomal rna actually it is having a this is 16s ribosome malar ribosomal rna which is have 3 end and 5 end and near its 3 end it is having a special special nucleotide sequence which is complementary to what is this shindal garno it means if it is purine rich then this area should be pyrimidine rich right so when messenger rna will come over here this is messenger rna this is its 5 end 5 prime here it is its which sequence yes this is which sequence shine the Dal dalgarno sequence which is present in bacterial messenger rna and there is another sequence which is not which is present in ribosomal rna here is messenger rna here is 16s ribosomal rna this is near the five end of messenger rna this is this is near the three end of messenger rna both of them attach with each other base pair with hydrogen bonds complementarily they are complementary to each other and anti parallel and that is why this point is also called this point in 16s subunit is also called anti shine dalgarno sequence what is it called anti shine dalgarno sequence so if it is sd shine dalgarno sequence then it should be anti then this should be anti sd so it means when messenger rna is being formed in bacteria now a very important point let's suppose this is bacterial what is this dna right here the process of transcription is going on right and here was start codone okay and here was five end and here is which sequence shine dalgarno sequence right and here is what 16s ribosomal rna which is present in 30s and this is anti shine dalgarno sequence so dalgarno sequence and anti dalgarno sequence they they pair with each other make bonds with each other and this and this help the messenger rna to bind and stabilize and align properly on 30s right shine dalgarno sequence and its interaction with what anti shine dalgarno sequence help the messenger rna to bind with 30s subunit and messenger rna will be properly binding orienting itself and aligning itself with 30s ribosomal subunit 